Greetings everyone. You're watching the channel Aviation Obsession. Welcome to the grand finale of the Evolution of Boeing series. We've covered how Boeing became one of the biggest airplane manufacturers in the world, and now it's time to showcase their latest and greatest aircraft. Get ready for a thrilling ride with Episode 3. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for future uploads. Without further ado, let's get started. In 1982, Boeing launched its first widebody twinjet, the 767. With computer-aided design used for over one-third of the aircraft's drawings, it was ahead of its time. It was longer than the 737 but not quite as large as the 747. It boasts a supercritical wing for reduced drag and a two-crew glass cockpit. The Boeing 767 has been one of the most versatile and successful airplanes in aviation history. It has gone through several models, including the Dash 200, Dash 300, and the latest Dash 400 ER. Plus, it's not just for commercial airlines, there are also military versions, like the E-767, KC-767, and KC-46 that serve important roles like surveillance and aerial tanking. Boeing's biggest rival, Airbus produced its own competing aircraft, the A330-200. However, Boeing held its ground with this aircraft and has built a total of 1,346 units. If you're looking to purchase a brand new 767 for yourself, it'll cost around $220 million. This aircraft has been involved in some significant aviation incidents. One of them was Ethiopian Airlines Flight 961, which was hijacked and crashed in the Indian Ocean due to fuel exhaustion, killing 125 out of the 175 people on board. The first incident was Air Canada Flight 143 on July 23, 1983, where the 767-200 ran out of fuel midair and glided for nearly 49 miles to an emergency landing. It became known as the Gimli Glider and flew for Air Canada until 2008. Introducing the Boeing 757, a sleek twin-engine jet that's 80% more fuel-efficient than its trijet predecessor, the 727. With more power and a lighter weight, it can take off from shorter runways and soar to airports with hot, high-altitude conditions. And here's a fun fact, it was designed alongside the 767, so pilots trained on one could easily fly the other with a shared flight deck. This aircraft comes in two variants, the Dash 200 model, which seats 200 passengers and has a range of 4,505 miles, and the Stretch Dash 300 model, which seats 243 passengers and has a range of 3,913 miles. It's no wonder that it's been the choice for VIPs, including presidents and even Microsoft's co-founder. Speaking of VIPs, Donald Trump bought a private 757 from Paul Allen in 2011, and it was nicknamed Trump Force One during his 2016 presidential campaign. With 1,050 units produced in total, the 757 was retired in 2005, leaving behind an impressive legacy. In 1995, Boeing unveiled its long-range widebody superstar, the 777, the largest twinjet in the world. It filled the gap between the smaller two-engine 767 and the bigger four-engine 747. But what makes it so special is that it was the first aircraft designed with a lot of input from customers. In fact, eight major airlines joined forces with Boeing in the development process and were dubbed the Working Together Group. The 777 also made history by being the first ever 100% digitally designed jetliner using 3D computer graphics, which saved a fortune in manufacturing costs. 240 design teams worked on nearly 1,500 design issues, and the whole program cost a whopping $5 billion. The aircraft is a spacious widebody plane that can fit up to 386 passengers and fly over 9,800 miles. It has a unique look with its circular fuselage, blade-shaped tail cone, and huge turbofans. Inside, you'll find the Boeing signature interior, featuring larger overhead bins and soothing lighting. It has the biggest windows of any commercial airliner, measuring a whopping 15 by 10 inches. Competing with the Airbus A340 and the McDonnell Douglas MD-11 in its early days, the 777 now goes up against the Airbus A350 and A330-900. But with its impressive range and features, it continues to soar high in the skies. The original aircraft came in two lengths, the Dash 200 and the longer Dash 300. But wait, there's more. Both have extended range versions, with the 300ER having a range of 8,481 miles, while the ultra-long-range Dash 200LR released in 2006 has a range of a whopping 9,845 miles. 
It is the most successful widebody airliner, beating even the legendary 747. Over 60 customers have ordered a total of 2,095 of these planes, and 1,678 have already been delivered. The most popular variant is the 777-300ER, with 844 planes ordered. It's also the most expensive, with a price tag of $375.5 million. The aircraft has been involved in 31 accidents, resulting in 8 total losses and 541 fatalities. Despite this, it is still one of the safest airplanes in history. One tragic incident was the shooting down of Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 in 2014 by a Russian missile. All 298 people on board were killed when pro-Russian rebels mistook the plane for a fighter aircraft. Meet the Boeing 717. Originally called the MD-95, it was designed as a smaller version of the DC-9 family. This twin engine, single L jet packs a punch with two Rolls-Royce turbofans, and it can travel up to 2370 miles. It is perfect for regional routes. Although production stopped in 2006, this little plane is still making an impact, with 156 of them built in total. Imagine a plane that can fly non-stop from Perth to London at a speed of 593 miles per hour. That's the 787 Dreamliner, a wide-body twin-jet airliner designed for the 200 to 300 passenger market. It's not only fast but also fuel efficient, thanks to its electrical architecture, which is five times more powerful than conventional airliners. To speed up deliveries, Boeing even modified four used 747-400s into 747 Dreamlifters to transport the Dreamliner's parts. And with three models to choose from, there's a Dreamliner for every need. The 787-8 is the smallest, carrying up to 248 passengers at a price of $157 million, less than half the price of a 777-300ER. The Dash 9 is a bit longer, at 206 feet, with room for 296 passengers and a range of 8,706 miles. As of 2018, the longest model was the 787-10. This airplane stretches 224 feet in length and can comfortably accommodate 336 passengers. It's also capable of covering impressive 7,284 miles. But these planes don't come cheap, the Dash 10 model costs a whopping $338.4 million. However, with 90% of passengers exceeding their expectations, it's clear that the Dreamliner is worth the cost. Its large windows give passengers an incredible view, and it's designed to accommodate people with disabilities. Although the aircraft faced some quality control issues early on, it's now one of the most reliable planes, with a dispatch reliability of over 99%. Compared to the Airbus A330, the Dreamliner also has a lower operating cost per seat. It's no surprise that 1510 Dreamliners have been ordered to date. While it wasn't all smooth sailing, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner has certainly made its mark in aviation history. Get ready for the Boeing 777X, the latest and greatest in the long-range, wide-body, twin-engine jetliner family. With new GE9X engines and composite wings with folding wingtips, this plane builds on the success of the 787 Dreamliner. It comes in two models, the 777-8, which can carry 384 passengers up to 10,046 miles, and the Dash 9, with 426 seats and a range of over 8,383 miles. With 320 orders already in, it's sure to be a hit. Scheduled for 2025, this plane is worth the wait. Boeing has come a long way since its humble beginnings in 1916. From military contracts to commercial airliners, Boeing has been at the forefront of innovation and has changed the face of aviation forever. Its evolution over the past century has been nothing short of remarkable, and as we look to the future, we can expect Boeing to continue to push the boundaries of what is possible in aviation. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and remember to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or a certain topic to discuss for the next video.